Hey guys, Mike from Fish Hunter. Today's video is about Wi Fi connectivity and your Fish Hunter Pro and your Fish Hunter 3D. Now, everybody's familiar with Wi Fi because that's what you use at the home or at the coffee shop or at your office to connect your computer to the internet. And we're using the same technology in these two devices as you would find in those locations. We have Wi Fi chips in the top of these. They have a power source, which is the battery. The difference here is instead of these going out of the internet for you to get information, they're just going down to the bottom where the transducers are located and they're sending the transducer data back to your smartphone or tablet. So the best way to think of these is really the same as your home or your office router, except really it's a battery operated router that floats on the surface of the water and it sends you back the transducer data from the transducers in these two sonars. Now there's a couple things you need to know about using Wi-Fi and water and it's around connectivity. Now as you know you're going to be connecting your smartphone or tablet to your Fish Hunter device and the same as in your home router, the office router, the closer you are to the router the better signal strength you're going to have and the same thing applies when you're connecting to your Fish Hunter Pro or 3D. The closer these devices are the better it's going to be for your signal strength. Now water is not a great uh, connector of Wi-Fi signal so you're going to lose some of your Wi-Fi signal in the water itself. Wi-Fi radiates up, you know, and not across. It radiates a little bit across, but most of that's going to be eaten up by the water. So in this particular case, when you have the fish hunter in the water, you want to make sure that your phone is elevated from the fish hunter. It's looking down to the fish hunter, and there's no distractions. There's nothing in the way um, to obscure the, the, the line of sight between these two devices. It doesn't have to be line of sight all the time, but that's going to give the best connection. As you get further away from your floating fish hunter, you're going to want to elevate your phone. So you're going to see in the box we provide you with a couple of tools that make that a little bit easier. First of all, we give you the uh, waterproof bag. And so in most cases you can put your phone right in your waterproof bag and you can use this waterproof bag not only to keep your phone safe, but also if you want to hang it around your neck, you're going to be able to keep the phone elevated, you know, so that when the fish hunter is in the water, your phone is still higher than where the fish hunter is going to be. Second thing I like to use this for, obviously, is, is the actual purpose, which is an armband. So I like to actually tether the fish hunter, uh, or sorry, the, the smartphone right to my arm, and that way when the fish hunter is actually in the water, and I'm casting and reeling, and I've got the rod in this hand, this hand's always going to be elevated to the water level um, where I'm doing my casting and trolling, so it's going to be a really great signal um, from the fish hunter. Plus, I don't have to worry about it because it's on my wrist or my forearm, so if I want to change any settings, it's right there. So those are two ways that, uh, that you can actually use the, the products that are provided inside the, the package that you get to give you the best possible experience with your fish hunter. We do have other online accessories as well. I don't know if you've noticed this little tripod, but in actual fact your phone goes in the front of this tripod and then your tripod can actually be sitting out somewhere on the side of the boat itself so you can actually tether it to the side here you know, and put it on the boat and your phone's going to be safe there or you can actually stand these legs up you know, on the surface uh, of your boat or you can put it up in the display. So another great tool that you can use and it's found online to get the best possible connection. So just to summarize, when we're talking about connectivity, we're talking about Wi-Fi, this is your battery operated floating router that sends the information from the transducers back to your smartphone. You don't need any um, connection to the internet, you don't need a cell phone signal and that's going to connect directly with your smartphone or tablet that you need to have elevated as you move further away from the floating uh, fish hunter. So hopefully that answers some of the questions we get on connecting Wi-Fi. If you have any more, just shoot us an email and uh, find us at uh, fishhunter.com.